Okay. In today's video, we will do a quick introduction on what exactly is a computer or a computing system. So if I ask you a question, what is a computer? What is the first thing that pops in your mind? Was it a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet, or a smartphone? If these three things popped in your mind, you're probably thinking like everybody else as to what exactly is a computer. These are computers that we see in our everyday lives. These are called general purpose computers. They are capable of doing more than one thing. So what exactly is a computer anyway? A computer is basically a device which takes an input and produces uh, an output based on some uh, intermediary processing that is done on those inputs. I love to cook, so let's quickly take an example of what a computer is in terms of cooking, for example. So when I cook or I like to bake, uh, one of the things when you bake, uh, one of the things you do is you sift flour. So here's a very simple computing system or processing system. My input is regular flour. I put it through a sifter and my output is the sifted flour. So here is a simple processing system that took input of unsifted flour and produced an output of a shifted flour. Well, what, how is this related to a computer anyway? So let's quickly take an example of a very, very simple computer that is in almost every household in the state of Minnesota. A basic thermostat. You might have a fancier thermostat than this, but let's just consider a very simple thermostat. A thermostat measures the temperature of your surrounding and using that temperature that's measured, if the temperature of the surrounding is less than the desired temperature, it turns on a fireplace or some kind of heat source in your house. So here's a very simple computer. The input to this computer is the current temperature of your room. The output of your computer is the fireplace or your furnace or some kind of heat source that it controls. The processing logic is very simple. Is the temperature being measured less than the desired temperature. So here's an example of a very simple computer. Now computers can be a little more complicated than this. For example, computers sometimes need step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. Again, going back to my cooking uh, example, sometimes when you bake, you follow a series of instructions called a recipe. It's not a single step. It's not simply as saying sift flour. You might involve sifting flour, mixing dry and wet ingredients, uh, putting them in an oven in a certain... Uh, these instructions have to be followed step by step and exactly if we were to, if we are to expect good baked goods at the end. Similarly, on the computer, a storage unit sometimes is used to keep recipes or instructions, which we call programs on a computer, so that the processing system can rely on these instructions to work on the inputs that's gathered to produce desired outputs. So a computer sometimes doesn't necessarily just process inputs to outputs uh, uh, using very simple sets of commands, but it sometimes stores information, grabs recipes that are stored and works on those inputs to produce a particular output. Here's an example of a computer, an ATM machine. This particular computing system is a lot more complicated than the basic thermostat I talked about. In this ATM uh, computer, when you place a card in, it wants to validate. It goes through a series of instructions. It asks you to provide a PIN, it connects to the bank and validates your information, it grabs information from your checking or your savings account, it asks you to tell it how much money you want to withdraw, if you're withdrawing money, 
and then it checks the bank again to make sure that there's enough money and so forth so there's a series of instructions or recipes this machine goes through from the time an input is provided to it to the time an output comes out of that machine so this ATM is an example of a complicated machine. Here are some basic components of a computer to summarize. Every computer has some sort of an input coming in. Those inputs are processed to produce certain desired outcomes or outputs. Sometimes producing those outputs also require uh, making uh, processing information, grabbing processing information from somewhere that is stored. Here are examples of some basic computers. Here's a simple laptop. Here's my tablet. Here are other computers that we normally don't think of as computers. Here is a very complicated thermostat called a Nest thermostat, which is internet connected thermostat. Here's an example of a wearable device or a wearable computer, which monitors my physical uh, movements and records them as step counts, calories burned, and so forth. Here is a camera, digital camera, that's a computer. Here's a robot, that's a very complicated computer. One of the things we drive around, a car has multiple computers. Each computer and the car might be responsible for certain aspects of uh, driving your car. For example, there's a computer that's monitoring the impact and uh, is ready to trigger airbags when necessary. So there are a lot of computers. Here's an example of a very simple hearing aid computer. Here's a pacemaker, that's also a computer. Basically, the pacemaker looks for input of a heart beating and produces a, a strike to the heart whenever it needs to be paced. So these are some examples of basic computing systems. So computers are no longer only laptops and desktops, but a variety of things that have inputs, outputs, and some kind of processing element in them.